All right, well, this is really a nice room. This is a very nice room. Let's just sweep all that. Yes. All right, now I can lay down on my table. We're gonna flip it. Okay. Or we're gonna slide it. Slide it! Ah! Ah! All right, we're gonna put it up against the wall. Okay. That was beautiful. Now it's home. Now maybe we can play that tank game. Step one, change the office. Okay, and step two. Yeah! What the hell are this? What is this choice? What is this choice? Step two, moonwalk with your new glove. That's funny. Uh, I'm gonna go with clouds. I want those glasses. I really want those glasses. A little bit, that's a little too red. Okay. I would get no work done with these glasses. Okay, that's pretty nice. Mm hmm. That's a good one. All right, I guess we should just look at all of them, right? Subnautica, <laughs> we're literally underwater. Under the sea, under the sea. I'm gonna go with my first choice, I think. Stick with my first choice. Oops, I'm sorry, hitting the microphone. All right, here we go. Clues. Tire tracks, tire model. It's a Tyron brand the Chevy. car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking that. Let's do a geo analysis on that. Okay, yeah. No data for geo analysis. Okay. All right. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to double check. This is this is the way I work, gang. Okay. All right. Now we also got this, the orchid. It's a flower. A funeral flower. Mm, a common species. That doesn't help much. It's a symbol of innocence. Cultivated in a pot with artificial light. Geo analysis. The orchid is a common species. The orchid. It can be found at any flower shop. Sweet. Okay. That was very helpful. Oh, wait, Gammy. Analyze. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Let's do a geo analysis on this. Just one origami store in town. Oh. <laughs> all right. Get all that out of here. What else do we want? Let's look at the files. Yeah. Yeah. Let your fingers do the walking. Give me that. Oh, okay. Let's look at the victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine oh, and thirteen. Oh no! No signs of violence. 
the victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Hmm. Bodies are found three to five days later. Later. Drowned. In rainwater. Hmm. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. This is crazy. But not to the face, Golomancy. Thanks, man. Always the same ritual an origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Huh. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. That's not very good. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. Just like me. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Oh, this is back to this again. Okay. I guess we'll look at the map one more time. Awesome. Alright, let's close it. I wouldn't want to come back. Oh, dude. Really, we have to have an FBI agent with issues? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Okay, take it. What are you doing? That's all right. I know. Oh, no, yeah, can we can it. make it. We I got know. this. I know I can make it. I can make it to the bathroom with the water in the face. This is gonna be good. Let's go out in public like this. Take Trypto. Nah, let's just go. We can make it. We got this. We can make it. Fake it till we make it. Hey. Is everything all right, sir? Yes. Now we think it's fine. We're way to the bathroom. No one. No one must see. Okay. I'm fine. Everything is awesome. Okay, I'm trying to stop the tremors here. This is very disorienting. There we go. We're fine. We're good. All right. Wash face in toilet. Did I go in the women's room? No. Wait, what? Is this the dad?
This is the dad who lost the kid. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... 4.10! It was about... 4.15. It was 4.10. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly, because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. It was 4.10! What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. I have no idea what color coat. Uh... A black coat. I didn't even say... I didn't even and do a that. Pair of pants. He was wearing pants. Black pants. <laughs> How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I'm a bad dad. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? <sighs> Sean is a sensitive child. Our relationship has been a little difficult recently. Because I lost my other son, too! He ran away Everything from me. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Does you even want a picture of him? Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Wow, okay. Somebody's got to work on that guy's manners and, like... Public relations. No, he wasn't arrested. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. How is she not like screaming at him? Like, first Jason, now what Sean. Happened, Ethan? There we go. How could you lose Sean like that? Exactly. You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? There we go. Sorry. It's not what I meant to say. Yes, it is. <laughs> I miss him so much. <laughs> it's exactly what she meant to say. then. Oh, this guy again. Come here. Bring your nose closer, please. Bring your nose closer. Oh, there we go. Give me that thing. Give me that. 
Hey. Oh, my hand disappeared in your eye. Chocolate donuts. Dude. Dropsy? What is Dropsy, baby? Poppy Crunch? Was that what it's called? Oh, I gotta actually enter the building. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Hello. I'm gonna go buy some chocolate donuts. What do we want here? All right, what do we got? We got biscuits. Dropsy is a big bone clown that likes warm, damp hugs, to be specific. Yeah, Dropsy was that clown game, yes. I got it for Peachy, I made her play it. Ah! Oh. It is a gift. A gift to the foes of Mordor. Merm! Just gifted a sub to RJ the Barbarian. Thank you so much, Merm, for the 14 month resub for RJ. Thank you. That's our fifth new or gifted sub of the day. 33 for Merm. Total. That triggers a giveaway, gang. So, Pinky Fluff, whenever you're ready, we can have a giveaway. There we go. It's one clam to enter, max of 500. It's one clam to enter. And this is uh, for a game from the Game Vault. Winner, we get to choose any Vault game, and I'll send it to you tonight. Type exclamation point Vault to see a list. Wait a minute. Okay, there's mashed potatoes in a box there. What is this over here? Mr. My First Farm. And here we go. We got frozen pizzas sitting right here on the shelf. <laughs> Not Do frozen. You something, sir? Yeah, I'm just looking at your non-frozen frozen pizzas. What the hell did I come in here for anyway? Store's empty. Guess it's that time of day. Well, it's a good time for a quiet little talk. Oh. Guy behind the counter? You gotta suppose that's him. Can I have a lollipop? That looks like a fun little lollipop wheel there. Give me a lollipop. Can I help you, sir? Yes. Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing a more to say. A gift to the foes of Mordor. Oh my gosh. Another one. Dakia gifting a sub to Ektir. Thank you so much, Dakia. And that's our first newer gift sub towards the next giveaway. Four more, and we'll do a double giveaway. Double giveaway! Thank you, Dakia. Hype and love in the chat for Dakia, please. Uh. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A 10-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. You can just sell inhalers? And now, we're gonna have to save this guy. Something bad's gonna happen to this guy too. And we're gonna have to save him. Oh, here we go. Asthma spray. Yeah, I don't know. No prescription? Here we go. Good evening, sir. Bad guy. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. There we go again. This is this guy's right place, right Open time. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Or right place, wrong time. There we sir, go. Are you deaf or what? No, not the chips. Are you going to open that That's fucking the aisle with not? the chips. No, sir. You do not have the right no, to No, this is the aisle with the... No, 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 chips! I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. You gotta what go faster. You You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I left I'm in the car. Right your eyes. Gotta no. think of something else. Hey, you! Butterfingers. Come here! 
I said, come here now. All right, Don't easy, move. easy. Hands up. Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot. Okay. All right. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Why would he tell him our name? Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool, man. I'm cool. <laughs> Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Uh... Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down, and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. No. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name is Jessica. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? You haven't done anything serious yet. Okay. If you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end of it. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think? Are you deaf? Oh. Just then put your hands up! I'm warning you! I'll shoot! If you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead! I'm not joking, man! I'll all blow right, your fucking brains right, out! Alright, alright! Hands up! Hands up! Everybody, hands up! Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? That sounds like a good deal right there. There you go. There you go. Pretty sure I could have died in this encounter. Now quick, all the cops! All right. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy... <laughs> by the way, I'm stealing Reza, the inhaler. <laughs> ...disappeared. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. What? I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Origami. Please, take the box, if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. This box has this has his father's fingerprints all over it. His father it's must be the origami killer! I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Ah. I can't believe I dropped the thing off the counter. I wanted to hit him in the head with a bottle. I wanted to stop violence with violence. They didn't give me a chance. I had a reason with them. Ugh, it feels so wrong. Ugh. I hate reasoning with people. Reminder, press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. I don't like, I don't know about these up close, like, things. These up close loading screens. That's very close. That's a gigantic face. Wednesday, 2.44 a.m. I can't, I can't believe I didn't take a lollipop either. Ah, uh, Mazer. Look, we do pours. <gasps> ah. Do we know who this is? That's, that's not the mom, right? 
No. Thirty-eight. Do 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 do. Thirty-eight. Do 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 do. Dublin already. Like a boomerang banana. I'm back for another month with a great streamer and community. Like a boomerang banana. I'm a boomerang banana. See, he came right back to me. Ta-da! I'll be here all the week. Dublin Ari, thank you so much for the 38. Hype and love in the chat for Dublin Ari. There we go. Ooh, another thing. A gift to the foes of Mordor. Takia. Takia's on fire. Two gifted subs in a row. This time to X-Ray 1978. Thank you, Takia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who won the giveaway, by the way? Who won the first giveaway? Did we pick a winner? I didn't see. Kim Nopa did? Oh, nice! Congrats to Kim Nopa. What's this? A watch. Okay, I didn't want that anyway. TV. Kind of weird having those high resolution face renders and then not in game. It is a little weird. I could sit in any of these places. I'll sit here. <laughs> I'm too tired to go any further. I'm hungry. I wish I had two grapes. Alright, let's go. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Ah. A hot drink is what I need. I like her TV stand. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Okay. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. Why don't you try a bed this time? <laughs> that might help. There. Go to sleep. I did it. Yeah, we're some curtains, right? Exactly. They definitely need curtains right now, Marauder. No. I can't get my head off the bed. Uh, I am feeling watched. Somebody was looking right through the window. All right, that didn't work. 2.47 a.m. Always the same time. This is kind of a weird layout. Yeah, I, I don't know about sleeping there either. Kind of... Interesting house is this, or interesting uh, apartment. Flat. Yeah, it's like a loft. You like that, Azaria? You like a layout like that? I don't know. For me, sleeping, I, I want to be in like a tiny little closet when I sleep. Can we close the blinds? Can we do anything? No. It was that letter R. That letter R was staring at me. I don't know. What city are we in? Did, did they tell us that yet? You can sit at the computer. Where was the... Where can I get a drink? Uh-oh. Where did that noise come from? I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think you're starting to lose it. 
What, where did the noise come from over here? That's a big step right there. All right, hot drink. Okay, Just put, put empty cup in the microwave. Oh man, is this this is gonna be terrible? And then eat. It's got some White Castle hamburgers in there. Ah, oh, I guess not. I guess we're not hungry. All right, fine. Drink it! Drink it! Piping hot! Ow! No, she doesn't react. Look, she finished her nothing. Yep, finish that nothing. There you go. Now you can sleep. What's this? There you go. That's why I couldn't sleep. Microwave is broken. It just beeps. Oh my god. What the hell was that? I think she got a lot of work done. I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. Let's have some booze. Or a gigantic thing of water. <laughs> Chug the whole thing. That is as big as my thigh bone. The shadow moved over by the fridge, right? A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. That'll create the magic of sleep. Yeah, and also let whatever creepy person is kill us. What is that out? Oh, snap. Fridge door. I'm sure I closed it. Which, oh my god, oh, the camera on. angles. It, it couldn't have just opened on its own. <laughs> ah! Jesus Christmas, Smurm. How on earth did the fridge just open like that? <laughs> well timed. Get it together, girl. You probably just left it open by accident. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, there's definitely somebody in the house. Who the hell? Okay, now we go. Now we just run out of the house in our underwear. There's somebody here. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone hey. on the desk. I could call for help. No, weapon, weapon, weapon. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. <gasps> go! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. Yes! Okay, go for the phone. Go for the ladder. Knock the ladder down. Yes, knock the ladder down. Nice. That went better than expected. Oh, what? A second assailant? No, you don't. Oh, yes! Kick him in the beans! Kick him in the wallet! Oh, crap! What was that? Stabbed them with something good. Okay. Nope, you missed. And you missed again. You suck. Okay. Yeah, kick to the face. Yes! That's three? Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, you! No? Okay. 
Bite him. Bite his ear off. Mike Tyson him. Mike Tyson him. Yes. Okay, all right. I didn't do that right at all. I don't no, I don't even know what is going on. I can't sleep. Don't put me to bed. Okay. All right. That did nothing. Yeah, you go to sleep. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Okay. Yes! And you get one. Lock yourself in the bathroom. There we go. And no telephone. Are you flipping serious? And then she wakes up. I'm gonna kill this girl. You put me through all those emotions! First drink in the coffee right out of the microwave like that? It was awful! I can't believe you made it seven months. That's nothing futz! And then only having two seconds on her computer? Man, those emotions were running high and there was all a dream. Damn. Fatal, thank you so much for the seven months. Hype and love in the chat for Fatal. I didn't get to see what you guys were like saying at all. Woo! She's much better fighting than you would be, Azaria. I don't know. You're pretty good at fighting. Yeah, pretty good. Oh man, all right. That was all a silly dream. It's all a silly dream. I've unlocked a new bonus. What are these bonuses I'm unlocking? These are the weirdest loading screens I've ever seen. This game is evil. Underwear armor. Wednesday, 7.31 a.m. 1.7 inches of rain. Oh, this is our, this is our dude. This is our dad. This is our dad with all the news crew out there because we lost a second son. Give me that letter. Ethan Mars. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. The bonuses are pretty much concept art you unlock after each chapter. Okay. Locker ticket. What? Okay, so we're gonna go get our box from the killer. Remember the other guy? Wait a minute, but aren't we the killer? <laughs> I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Jason! It looks like the ticket to a locker. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? This angel on the ticket, I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. Someone sent me that letter for a reason. You think so? I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. He's got a lot of thoughts. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something, but I just can't remember. Hey, everybody! I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. I think I know where this ticket comes from. I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart. But what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? I don't know, but I gotta take a leak. 
paparazzi this! I'd give and anything to know where Sean hands. is now. <sighs> I should have played basketball that one day. I should have went out and played basketball. Even when you're home alone, you always close the bathroom door? I don't always. Not if I'm home alone. And sometimes when I'm not home alone. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I have never done origami in my life. Hmm. I've got to go out. I'll go crazy if I stay in here. He says as he stays in. I could go through the neighbor's garden and avoid all the press. Ooh, that's a good idea. There's no way back for me. If I've done anything to hurt Sean... If I go outside, they'll jump me and hassle me with their questions. I, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Let's go out the neighbor's garden. Yeah, let's go get caught doing... Let's go co get caught trespassing. That'll look good. Man, I really gotta take a leak again, too. All right, let's go. My pee is silent and invisible, so why wash hands? I know, right? Where's the basketball? I wanna play. What a nice neighborhood. And he rolls his ankle. Hi guys! Nobody saw me. Wow, they are very non-observant. Hey guys! Hey! I guess we'll go over here. Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars, did your son disappear? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Your son is still alive? Uh huh. Run them down. Sir, can I ask you a question as you get into your Chevy Malibu? How funny is that? Oh great, another crowded place. He has an issue with crowds, I think. That's when he blacks out. All right, we got this. Gonna... Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I, I can't go on. Nope. The luggage lockers. They're on the other side of the station. I... 
I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. You can make it. You've got to pull yourself together! Just gotta put one foot in front of the other, put the other one down, down, down. You got this, you're fine. You are fine, you looking good. You looking good. One foot. Two foot. Is that up and down on the RV? Yeah, or on the R stick, I guess. We got this. We got this. We made it through. Ah. Don't pass out. You're okay. You're okay, fella. It's okay. Yes! We stopped time. We're awesome. Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Okay, he's a loon. Dad! Dad, where are you? Jason! Jason! Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me, Babel. I'm sorry, have you seen my son? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Jason! Guys, Dad. this is the superpower I want. When there's crowds and they're Jason. in your way. Dad. This is it. Jason! There's probably an achievement for knocking every single person down here. This is great. Dad. How good is this? Jason! Dad! Jason! Jason! Dad's here, son! The balloon! Gotta get the balloon! Jason! Jason, come back! Alright. You gotta be kidding. This is driving me crazy! I never found him. Would it be handy for dealing with cues at the post office? Absolutely. All right, we made it to the luggage. Line 18, box number three. 18-3. What's up? The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. The locker number. It's on the ticket. Line 18, box number three. 18-3. 18-3. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. Where the hell is 18? 16, 17. Eighteen. Line Eight. 18, box, box number, number three. Tree. tree. What do we got? There's a box in there. It's a shoe box. There we go. An 
inside. And it's the same shoebox, you're right. Must be connected. What's in the box? You didn't open it yet? Come on. I would open that immediately. I wouldn't even have waited. The killer works at Payless. Not anymore, aren't they all going out of business? It's Gwyneth Paltrow's shrunken head. Let's do this. A gun? A tape recorder? Yeah, why don't you flip the gun out? Dude, don't touch it. Don't touch anything. Why are you touching? Put gloves on. one okay big bear chase me do we unfold it you ruin the bear are you prepared to show courage to save your son Joe's garage and parking lot 4988 Roosevelt Ave Avenue Lexington okay next Put it in there. Stick it in there. Loading. Okay. Playing the video. Help. Dad. Sean. Where are you? What? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. Damn. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? <laughs> He's got nothing else to lose. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Okay, so basically our son was kidnapped by the Riddler. All right, we'll take this as step one. Bring the gun. All right, fine. Seems like a terrible idea. Put all that in a box. We won't even look at the other clues. Why would we look at all the clues first, you know? And, oh, we can put it on the table. We can hide it under the bed. Yes, hide it under the bed. Yeah, all right, now we're ready. Wait, you didn't go to the bathroom first. You should go to the bathroom first. I don't know if the gun was loaded. This guy should really invest in an umbrella. I'm just saying. I mean, it's been like raining for three years. All right, we're going back to the FBI agent. Wednesday, 9.31 a.m. is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims, that's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. 
By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? Somewhere in the continental United States. For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What? What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? Lots of rain. There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Okay, go ahead. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your Fuck help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! This guy's problem, he's a police officer and the other guy's FBI. He probably just doesn't died. like him. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Who made this game? Quantic Dream. Same people that did Detroit Become Human. And Beyond Two Souls. Which we'll probably play in July sometime. If you guys are enjoying this. Knock, knock. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Dude. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. It's not entirely legal, that's for sure. Call the cops. He's one of those back word cops, huh? One of them. Okay, this guy's the killer. We found the killer. Yep. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. And he's dead in the bathtub. No? Wow, that is a dirty ass bathroom. Multivitamins, though. Okay. Breakneck says July free games with Twitch Prime are for the king, the escapist, cultist simulator, and ukulele? Really? Those are some really good games. The guy's taking a break from reality, hold up here in this crazy apartment. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. I don't know. This house looks pretty freaky to me.
Uh oh. What are you doing in my house? Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? It's 4 here. It's 4.10. I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Oh. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Okay. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. Voldemort! I said it. What does he say Blake, to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? What are you doing, Blake? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. That's he enough. He orders you to go Leave and find him new alone. prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Hey. Hey. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Carter, I told you to shit. go and find that kid out of your mind? The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? No. Come on. Stop. Stop. That's enough. I'm in your way. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with hey. you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? Oh. No. Stop. Stop. Get off of him. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? That's the worst Are you cop ever. you you bastard? What Ooh. kind of cop is this? He's like breaking like four laws so far. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall you to your father in hell. Okay. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! No. Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to what? the realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. There you go, leave. Team. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Uh, listen. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and the I was powers. kidding about the shadow stuff. May God Almighty manifest the power I was of kidding. his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Uh. Enough, Nathaniel. Put the gun down immediately. Back away, slowly. Put it down. Put it down. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. There we go. Nice. Put your hands on your head. Crucifix guy had a gun. Turn around. Motherfucker! Ah, uh, see. In the name of the Lord. For a second, I was I gonna shoot him. Exercise the Satan. I almost shot there. I almost okay, shot. Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. I don't know how we, he could be under arrest. The cop assaulted Pretty him for no cool reason and broke into his place. I would have just shot him. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Woo! Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. All right, we didn't kill him. That was good. 
Woohoo!